Good evening. I'd like to call a meeting to order. This is the Wednesday, February 26, 2020 meeting of the Lowell Conservation Commission. Uh, our first order of business is a continued item from the last meeting. It's a notice of intent by the City of Lowell, DEP 206-797. Uh, the project location, Old Ferry Road and Varnum Avenue intersection. It's for a uh, construction of a uh, roundabout with associated drainage, sidewalk, and landscaping improvements. And the resource affected will be bordering land subject to flooding. Uh, at the last meeting, we, uh, we gave a two-week continuance to this particular item at the request of the city so that more investigation could be done by abutters. And uh, do we have any new information, Jared, as far as uh, our, our uh, issues? Uh, no further materials uh, from staff, no. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Hi, this is Christine Clancy, DPW, DPW Commissioner. I'd just like to confirm that there's been no updates from the city on this. Thank you. Okay. Um, so is there, is there further information from, uh, from the uh, builders of the, or the applicants, uh, engineering wise or? No. Um, Mr. O'Neill, we, uh, we gave this continuance at your request, and I wonder if, uh, if you have anything to report on your end. No, just very concerned still with the water, the one uh, manhole for the extra 6,000 square feet of uh, hot top, and I'm concerned with the banking into my property and flooding. Okay. Um, we've had several uh, engineers uh, go over these plans. Uh, the area on the other side presently isn't doing anything to relieve the, uh, the stormwater condition uh, except for what happens naturally over there and I thought that was a good use of that area especially considering it's uh, been water department land. I figured give them a little more water. And, uh, you know, we looked over the compensation and it seems to uh, come within uh, the requirements. So uh, is there anyone from the public that's interested in speaking again on this particular issue? No questions, no comments. Uh, and I think at this point, uh, we can, uh, any questions from so, the board? So on the first um, meeting that this came about us, the board asked VHB if the one catch basin was sufficient and the engineer answered it yes. Um, and then again, I did some math as well and, it, and I felt as though that it was sufficient. So it actually looked like there was gonna be less water on Mr. O'Neill's property from, from what I came up with, so. Um, so I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing. Motion made. I'll second that second motion. Second by Kevin to close the public hearing. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, hearing is closed. Uh, we now entertain a, a motion to uh, give an order of conditions on this property. So according to my notes, I don't have any special conditions that the board has come up with. So again, I'll make a motion to issue um, a standard City of Lowell order of conditions for this project. Second. Motion made and seconded for a standard order, a Lowell standard order of conditions. Uh, for the discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimously passed. Um, so the notice of intent will be issued and uh, Good luck with your project. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. 
order of conditions will be issued. Did I say that wrong? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a building of a shed. <clears throat> okay, our next order of business it was an enforcement order that uh, came about uh, through uh, through from the staff, and uh, I think we all got the uh, picture and the information about this. The location is uh, 74 Weber Street. The property owner, Paul and Peter Kalajarakis. Uh There's a shed. Uh, constructed on the bank of Black Brook within bordering land subject to flooding. And this shed, uh, as far as we know, didn't have a permit from, from the Conservation Commission. So, welcome. Hi, I'm Angela. Um, this is my dad, Paul. His English is not so great, so I'm just gonna speak on his behalf. Okay, could you sign our list there and introduce yourself, please? Yep, I signed it under his name, but I can put mine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm Angela. I'm his daughter. I don't live at the, at the property anymore, um, but he lives there with my mom. And um, the shed that was noticed has been there since before we bought the house. We didn't know that it, there wasn't a permit for it, and no one told us otherwise. We bought the house five years ago. It's probably been there at least six or seven because it was on the market for at least a year or so before we even bought it. Um, I mean, I would agree, we wouldn't have built a shed there. I don't know why the previous uh, tenant did, um, but it hasn't been an issue. And I know one of the concerns was that it's being held up by wood, and it's not. It's being held up by steel bars, and there's cement on the side of the property, which is holding it up. Um, so I guess, ultimately, like, if you try to understand what you guys are hoping that we would accomplish in terms of next steps, because to move the shed is quite a costly, probably <laughs> costly, or even if we demolish it, that's also fine, but he's retired and currently has a lot of medical bills, so it would take some time for him to even save up the money to be able to move it. Um, so yeah, just trying to understand what you guys are hoping for us to do. Okay, uh, we saw the pictures and I thought it was very creatively constructed, <laughs> yeah. uh, considering the slope that it was on. Uh, I don't know how, uh, how stable it might be if you uh, put heavy objects in there, but uh, the, uh, the, the, the slope is such that uh, I don't know whether the, the roof angle, rain, storm water coming off the roof might start some erosion going on that slope down to the brook. And the concern is for, uh, for erosion sediment materials to enter the uh, the brook which is a very flat uh, type of a flow area anyway and causes a lot of flooding in that particular neighborhood at certain times so uh, i did take a look at the plot plan uh, on the city uh, website of of the property and uh, it appears that uh, there's not you know a whole lot of uh, of uh, choices as to where to put it, but uh, we, we, we have on our wetlands uh, bylaw a 50-foot setback from a resource. Now, in, in, we also have in the, in the state law a 25-foot riverfront area, and it looked to me like the shed, you know, was right on the edge of the resource, and, and I thought to myself, perhaps we could uh, provide a 25 foot area from top of slope there, if there were some place to relocate that shed. Uh, it's not on a foundation as far as I could tell, is it? It's not any foundation then? Sure. Yeah, there's not really a, any foundation that we know. I mean, I can show you pictures, but it's just, um, the foundation is more like on the land part, and then there's the steel beams that are holding it up, and it's tilting more so towards our property. So if it was to tilt, it would tilt more towards our property. But no, as far as, I mean, we didn't build it. That's the thing. So I don't even right. have. Well, it's always handy to have a shed. I, I wouldn't want to see you lose your shed, yeah. but um, if that could be pulled back, that's, that's my opinion, uh, pulled back, you know, 20 feet, 20 uh, from, you know, from the uh, resource. And the resource area means the area affected by, uh, 
water issues. So uh, that was my idea. What does anyone else think? So I guess what we're asking is because of the concern. So you should, I don't know if an enforcement owner was the right way to go about this because there wasn't construction, right, of a new shed. No, there's no construction. It's yeah, it's years. not. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure there's tons of stuff like this all over the city that we could be, and it's we only usually enforce it when it's being done at that yeah. time. Um, is there an do? Would you guys be able to maybe? I guess our ask is. Because we are concerned that if that were to fall and then yeah. like go into the, the water. Yeah. Um, is there maybe that you could move the shed? Do you so that's the, I mean, he wouldn't, he's, he's down to take it down. So he's not going to be able to, I mean, he doesn't need that big of a shed. The only reason we never touched that part of the house, I mean, they redid the whole house inside, but that shed was never touched because it was, it was just already there. I mean, he said he want, he's happy to take it down and just get a small shed and put it on the side of the yard. But it's more just like he's going to need some time to save up the money to, to pay to take it down. Yeah. He's retired. And so he said he, if this is okay if to have like a six month timeline so that we do it by the fall to just demolish, just get rid of the shed and then we'll get an, a shed and within those constraints. Well, you, you really don't want to disrupt the yard in this time of year with mud season. Right. And the make snow. Make a mess back there. So, you know, we're not talking about oh, anything okay. instantly. I, okay. I don't think that we are. No. <laughs> if it's been there for five years. Uh, uh, you know, I, I wish I could have gotten there to see, you know, how stable that slope is. Uh, because yeah. it does seem to be... You know, if it's been there five years and it's still level like that, uh, it must be... It's pretty sturdy. Pretty I mean, stable. it's cement. There's like cement. Whoever, I mean, the previous tenant where you think, or this is my dad thinks, is that he was using the brook to water his plants, and that's why it's so close to the edge of the... I mean, we're not using it for those purposes, but that was our understanding. So, I mean, yeah, it's been there for a very... Like, we bought the house five years ago, but it's been there. Like, even if you look at the listing from from the house originally. Yeah. Uh, and I, I can take, uh, take uh, notice of what uh, Ms. Bidron said about the, uh, <coughs> you know, the uh, sheds all over the city. If you just take, the, especially this time if you take a drive, and in fact, uh, when I was looking at the plot plan, I saw a shed at the next house that's even closer to the brook. Oh, really? That's uh, partially on apparently from the looks of it, uh, mm -hmm. you know, on, on the, uh, on the brook, uh, brook side of things. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, I can appreciate that if you bought it that way and, you know, you're you know, not really actively, uh, disturbing that part of your yard. I, you know, maybe I would question whether it actually needs to be moved. But the, the point is we, we did want to, uh, you know, point out that it's something that needs watching even for your own, uh, your own uh, safety there. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think either way, like, he, he wants to, he wanted to get rid of it in general. It's just more time. Like, he was prioritizing the house and finishing that first. And then, um, but yeah, I mean, completely about it, I, I, we wouldn't have, he wouldn't have built the shed there. Um, but yeah, it's been there for so long. It's it's not going anywhere. It's very, very much reinforced by these steel and cement bars. So, worst case, it definitely leads more towards the yard. And okay, I see that would, if it were to fall, and I hope it shouldn't because it is secure. And he wants to take it down regardless. It's just more of a timing piece. Um, and now he'll do it sooner rather than later too. So, so I was gonna say I would say. I'm, I don't think I need to set a time deadline, but when you do, or if he does in the next few months or few years, mm -hmm. plan to remove the shed, if he could just come back to the board yeah. and let us know how he's gonna do that. Okay, is, was there a specific way you would reckon? Like, I guess that's the other question. Is it safer to just leave it there so there's less sediment or? Well, that, that's where I'm like, I don't know, I don't. I, I, I'm thinking, you know, if, if you're going to be, re if you want to remove it, yeah. You, you would apparently be disturbing some of the soil right. at the top of that slope if it's, it's kind of set yeah. into the slope there. Exactly. Uh, and if you wanted to put up a different shed, we'd want to know, you know, where is that going to go in the yard? Okay. 
Uh, I, I, let's hear from some other people, though. I don't know whether we have a consensus on this. Do we know how big the shed is, uh, like dimension-wise? Um, Looks by, like a six by eight or an eight by 10 or something. So that'd be probably um, pretty heavy to move. Evaluate. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to, you'd need a bobcat. Yeah. yeah. 14 by eight. So that's a big one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. a long way. Cool. So you can't do it with people. Yeah. No, right. You can't, you can't, you can't just, it, it, yeah, it is quite, yeah, large and it's been there for a really long time. So yeah, we haven't touched it because it, it would be more work to, to move not it. more work, but like, yeah, it would, because it's also so far in the side of the brook too. And it's just like, seems like we get in these situations a lot where people buy their homes within a wetland and don't really have any, no one ever really tells them right they need to follow the wetlands protection act or don't even really know about the wetlands protection act. And it seems like we keep getting cases like this. Mm -hmm. It's only new construction that we really have anything to yeah. say about beforehand. And yeah, this enforcement order says construction. Oh, they, did, they didn't construct anything. They just ob like obtained. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, this has been here five or six years. Or even you guys bought it five you or six years ago. bought it five years ago. So who knows how long this has been here. Yeah. So I don't think it's really causing any problems where it is now um, as it is, so. Yeah, right. So I would say if if your dad decides mm -hmm. whenever yep. that he does want to take this down, yep. um, if he could just come before us yep. again, because what we would ask is, again, like, make sure that nothing falls safely. in the water. Yeah. And then also, um, w if he did want to put a new shed up, making Where? sure it's out of the resource area. Oh, th those would be our two asks. Okay. How about we just say that now, that if the shed comes down, we have to come keep the trash out of the river? And maybe don't pull the concrete block out. Yeah, like leave that where it is. Leave and that right where it is. Bars. Well, yeah, the steel bars are connected to. Yeah. I don't know how they're connected to the concrete. Do you? They are just. The, I got a picture. I can show you. The, yeah, let me see. Concrete's in the front. I tried yeah, to let me see. Picture. I don't see any blocks or something. Oh, cords are in there. And then the steel uh, is just like. Gonna get up. Ground. Sorry. <laughs> I took a picture. He really wanted those extra square feet of open space, right? Yeah. So it looks like it, it's easy to separate the concrete from the steel. Um, the, I mean, the concrete, there's no reason to take the concrete out, I don't think. Um, it's there already. It's not causing any problems. Probably stabilizing the slope. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then we're, we're in an erosion risk if we pull it out. You know, it's not a bad one because it's only 14 feet long. It almost sounds like it's gonna look better if we leave the shed there. I yeah. think so. I, I would certainly advocate for not punishing somebody for, for buying a property that was non-conforming. Agree. Thank you. Okay, so I'm, uh, I don't think we need a motion on this. Uh, we need to rescind the enforcement order? So well, I'll, it hasn't actually been uh, ratified. Has it been ratified? I don't think so. Uh, you ratified it at the last meeting. At the last oh, yeah. meeting. Oh, that's true. Sorry. Okay, so I'll make a motion to rescind the enforcement order. And again, yeah. the ask of yeah. if you are going to take do anything, just come, come back here. Or reach, reach out to Jared and the board. That's uh, a great way to deal with it. Just send, yeah, send us an email and definitely um, one of us may come by and check it out, you know, before and or after. Yeah, that would be great, actually. Yeah. Sounds cool. good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks no, for coming. Thanks for coming. Good good to rescind, uh, seconded. Second. Uh, Brad, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you for coming in. Okay, our other business is uh, minutes of January 22nd meeting and February 12th meeting. Uh, we had uh, a delay on the 22nd. Uh, I think we've had plenty of time for those now. Does anyone have a motion on minutes? Uh, I, motion make, I make a motion to approve the January 22nd minutes. Okay, motion to approve January 22nd, seconded by... I'll second that motion. Evan, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
And a motion on the last meeting it has to be somebody that was here. I'll make a motion uh, for the February 12th, 2020 minutes. Second. Seconded by Brad. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anything else we should be uh, discussing? We don't need this exercise thing till the next meeting, right? No, so uh, there aren't any items that um, are on the agenda for the next meeting. So if you'd like, you could cancel the March 11th meeting and your next meeting could be March 25th. Okay, is that going to impact uh, what we had going for the next meeting? So the, the item that you have in front of you is actually for the March 25th meeting, that RDA. That just came in today, a little bit early of the filing deadline. So I'm going to make a motion to cancel the March 11th meeting because I'm going to be on vacation skiing in Colorado. Oh, no. Have fun. Thank you. Motion, motion to cancel, seconded by Brad. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're past the submission time, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, with nothing else on the agenda, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to end the meeting. Seconded. Motion to end. <laughs> Made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night. Thank you.